Bennett Academy Softball welcomes Naperville North after Mother Nature canceled this matchup last season and postponed this previously scheduled game from early April to mid-May. Now the Huskies and Red Wings finally meet to wrap up the regular season before regional play begins next week. Naperville North leading 1-0 in the top of the second inning following an RBI single from Charlotte Chelich. Leadoff hitter Olivia Hebron at the plate, she yanks a ground ball into right field. The ball is bobbled and Ellie Goff circles the bases, coming in to score from first base to make it 2-0. Moving on to the top of the third inning after a Charlotte Chelich double, Eliza Patterson smacks a single up the middle. Pinch runner Gianna Colvin comes in to score. The Huskies looking strong up 3 to nothing. Charlotte Chelich has been cruising on the mound, but in the bottom of the third, Mary-Kate Ritterbush lines a single for the first Red Wing hit of the game. After Nina Passari infield single, Taylor Sconza slaps one the other way to load the bases with one out as the Red Wings look to break through. Up next is Angela Horace who pokes a single over second base to score Ritterbush and keep the line moving. Bridget Chapman heads to the plate with the bases still loaded, and Chelich briefly loses command, throwing two wild pitches to score Passari and Skanza, eventually walking Chapman as well. The Huskies are able to escape the inning from there, but the damage is done and the game is tied 3-3. To, to the top of the fourth inning, Bennett begins to make some great plays in the field. Bridget Chapman makes a tough play on the short hop at third base as she charges and throws out Gabby Schmiel. Two batters later, Olivia Hebron looks for another hit with a line drive to center field. Nina Passari comes flying into the screen and makes a fantastic diving catch to steal a hit and end the inning. Christina Donaldson leads off the fifth inning for Naperville North, ripping a hard grounder to third. Chapman makes another great snare near the bag and makes the throw in time for the out. In the top of the sixth, Gabby Schmiel once again is robbed of a base hit as Mary-Kate Ritterbush makes the play at first base and steps on the bag for the out. Now to the bottom of the sixth where Hannah Bear reaches via hit by pitch and moves to second base. However, Chelich is able to end the frame with a strikeout of Ritterbush to send the game to the seventh, still tied at 3-3. Leading off the seventh inning, Olivia Hebron adds another single to her tally with a line drive into right field. Red Wing pitcher Gianna Cunningham gets Donaldson and Chelich to fly out. Shayna Woolwine then hits a grounder to short that takes a late hop and bounces off the glove of the shortstop. That keeps the inning alive. Next up is Maddie Larson who has a pair of singles in the game already. The sophomore comes through in the clutch with a hit into center field. The throw to the plate is not in time as Hebron scores from second base as the Huskies take a 4-3 lead. One out in the bottom of the seventh with Woolwine looking to close things out. Taylor Sconza slaps another single into left field but the tying run on base. Angela Horace at the plate now and she pops one up near the dugout fence. Maddie Larson makes a nice play to range over from shortstop to make the catch before hitting the wall for the second out. After Bridget Chapman is walked intentionally, Grace Babich makes a good swing on the ball and drives one in the left. However, Lily Kelly has it played perfectly and she makes the catch to end the game. The Huskies end the regular season with their 20th win of the year. An exciting way to head into the postseason as Naperville North takes this one 4-3 over Bennett Academy. Yes, I definitely wanted to do my part and keep working hard. And the pitcher was throwing strikes and I was ready and waiting for my pitch. And as soon as I saw it, I just decided. And I just wanted to hit it in the gap to score those runs and just help my team out because we all did our part and worked together. 
the tournament we had recently was like the DVC that got us in like the the feel of like losing what like meaningful games like losing meaningful games and how it puts you down ranking so we like that was a feel coming in today's game I just had like flashbacks from like two years ago I remember playing here and last year we weren't able to play Bennett but we played them two years ago and they have improved like tremendously they got a lot of good players and just like being able to could be a 3-3 game for most of the innings and then come back that last inning is really big. That's That reminds me of kind of like a Niqua game that we played last year where coming back, it just gets you back into that feeling of like, I don't know, last year specifically. Yeah, especially when we were down like 0-3 in like the first inning, I think it shows that we can come back with anything. If we keep keep our momentum going, um, I think it proves that we can just battle back and have our energy up and then I think we can just have a good game like that. And it's not a bad loss, so I'm happy with what we scored but um, a win would have been better but that was a good game all around. Now I've become a lot more confident seeing these pitchers and it is a lot harder for the younger pitchers to pitch against like multiple seniors in a row so I mean from it's it goes with experience too so I think like I, it's just confidence I go up the, the bat I mean go up to hit and I just like clear my head I don't have those like those thoughts I had like sophomore year, like, oh, I'm, I need to like prove myself to these coaches. It's more of like, I know what I can do now and I know my full potential. I think that we're all excited for being number one seed. I think we're gonna go pretty far this year because we have good defense and offense all around and hopefully the pitchers are just like healed and they're all good and hopefully we're all just playing well. We keep our heads up and we just focus and have a lot of energy. I feel like this game really helped us um, feel really good about going into regionals because we collaborated and trusted each other a lot, which we've been working on. And I think gaining each other's trust and backing each other up and cheering for each other really loud.